Hey, thanks for staying up late with us. Last week on Monday, it was decision day for Trent and Watt for one of Alabama's most heritage basketball standouts ever. The McDonald's All-American from Oak Mountain had an impressive Final Four schools, LSU, Alabama, Memphis, and Indiana. So let's see who he chose. It was a, it was a tough decision. You no know, one of the tough decisions of my life. Now, lastly, next year, I'll be attending Louisiana State University. And with that announcement, Wofford will be an LSU Tiger. The five-star standout shows LSU over Indiana, Memphis, and Alabama, like Mo said. Now, LSU does have some issues with current head coach Will Wade, but he's not worried about that, and he's ready to head on down to Baton Rouge. The biggest thing was the relationship and the trust. You know, the trust I had in the, in the coaches and Coach Will and Coach Armstrong. It, it says enough, you know, about them as a, you know, as a person and as a program, and, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to it. Now, Watford has been an Alabama fan all of his life and always dreamed of playing for the Tide, but apparently those dreams were gashed once Avery Johnson and the Tide parted ways. Watford explained how big the Avery Johnson factor was in his decision. Uh, you know, obviously I'm a great, big Alabama fan. I love Alabama football, you know, basketball. And, um, you know, but with the, coaching, with the coaching change, it was just, you know, a big turn in my recruitment when that happened. And, um, you know, Coach Avery was recruiting me ever since the eighth grade. And, um, you know, but, it, you know, I wish him luck. And, uh, you know, I love my state and I love my city. So congrats to Watford. But guys, what do you think about this decision he made between the four schools? There's a lot of, um, I guess, controversy going around it, or maybe not. For me, I had my own thoughts on the four schools, um, and LSU wasn't the one I thought he was going to pick. No, I didn't think he was going to pick LSU either. Honestly, I thought that he was either going to go to Alabama or maybe Indiana because he actually has ties with both. He's an Alabama fan, and then he had a relative who actually played at Indiana, so I thought he was going to go either way. Remember, Will Wade got into some trouble not too long ago with some NCAA investigations, and while he was cleared early on, those were just preliminary things, so that means that there are more things that could come up to fruition. And if anything comes up, who knows what happens to LSU. Greg Sankey might have to step in and be like, okay, LSU, you know, you got to get a postseason ban or get a this ban or whatever. So we're going to have to see what happens with the LSU Tigers. I mean, at the end of the day, I know it's his decision, but I kind of do wonder with everything going on, a dark cloud over LSU's program, why would he choose the Bayou Bengals? Yeah, I got to say, I know a few diehard Alabama fans, and they obviously not happy with this decision. I of mean, not, not only you're going to <laughs> LSU, another team in the SEC. Of course, Alabama fans don't like LSU for obvious reasons. And the fact that he's going there just has a lot of them, left them with a little bit of a sour taste in their mouth. But I mean, hey, as a player, you got to do what's best for you. And I guess he feels like what's best for him is head on down to Baton Rouge. Yeah, I guess so. But also with, I mean, Alabama, if he's a fan of the state of Alabama, fan of the team of Alabama, I mean, I know Avery Johnson left, but you got Nate Oates. You got a lot of guys coming in for the Crimson Tide that will probably make a pretty good team with you on it. I just am kind of curious why he didn't choose Alabama and he did choose LSU over that. But also with that being said, I, Mo, what was his ties to Memphis? I didn't understand why that was even thrown into the mix. To be honest with you, I don't think there was a true tie to Memphis, but think about this. Penny Hardaway is the head coach in Memphis. Penny Hardaway, an all-NBA guy from the 1990s, and of course, he is trying to rebuild Memphis from the ground up. I mean, he was able to kind of pick him up this past year, and then I think Memphis actually has like a top five recruiting class because he did get the number one player in the nation and he got like two top 20 players as well. So I think that at the end of the day, Penny Hardaway is trying to make Memphis kind of similar to what John Calipari did when he had Memphis several years ago. So I honestly think it's the Penny Hardaway factor on the fact that, hey, I got a former NBA player who knows who get to the NBA and we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Well,